Hello, I'm Pritesh Chauhan, the Head of Community here at SEDEX, and welcome to the first keynote presentation of the day. The manufacturing industry requires workers to engage in risky activities that can negatively impact the workers' health. Um, and apart from causing irreparable damage to workers, occupational accidents cause indirect losses to machinery and the environment and have a negative impact on workplace productivity. Therefore, it's vital to identify potential occupational hazards and take measures to minimize workplace accidents. A health and safety audit is an expert assessment of an organization's health and safety policies, systems and procedures as well. It's a process that ensures that you're compliant with current health and safety regulations. Primarily, audits enable you to protect employees. So in this keynote presentation, you'll hear from Mr. Abdul uh, Motaleb, Managing Director of GC GSCS International on health, safety and hygiene from an auditor's perspective around how a professionally conducted audit can safeguard the existence of a company. And he will share some of GSCS's findings from audits conducted in the region and share some best practices. I'll now hand over to Mr. Motlub. Right, I think uh, probably there's some technical challenge. I'm just going to check for Mr. Uh, Abdul. So in the meantime, um, I'm, I'm going to check his slides. They, they are up as well. Yeah. Just bear with us where we uh, get actually the uh, slides up from Mr. Abdul. Whilst we're waiting, I'll just remind you that you can interact with other participants in the virtual lounge. Um, you can also visit our exhibitor stands in the exhibitor tab in the virtual area. So please do take a seat at their table to get to um, hear their presentations and see what they're about and make some new contacts here while you're at the conference today. And if you have any questions for any of the sessions, they go in the Q&A tab on the uh, platform as well. Right, so um, Mr. Abdul seems to have some technical challenges. So what I will be doing is I will be sharing his slides on his behalf and he, he will continue on his speech. So just uh, bear with me while I share my slides. Right, so while we're waiting, um, I have shared the screen. So uh, there seems to be some technical challenges with uh, Abdul coming in, but uh, their colleague yeah, will be giving in, uh, an overview from her side in the meantime. I am here. I
Hello. Um, I think we can hold on for another five minutes as Mr. Abdul has some uh, technical issues. So I think we can hold on for another five minutes. Thank you. Whilst we're just waiting for um, Mr. Abdul to restart, I'd like to just remind you to have a look at the um, visitors lounge uh, in the lounge area and see who you can speak to there. Also, just a reminder that any of the sessions from today, you'll be able to watch back uh, this time tomorrow. So 24 hours after um, you'll be able to uh, watch those sessions back. And uh, it's great that we can now see and hear Mr. Motlab. Hello, welcome back. Yeah, thank you very much. I am extremely sorry. Uh, Vishal, can you share the screen? Because uh, I cannot, okay, thank you very much. And I'm extremely sorry for this uh, technical problem. I don't know what was the problem, but uh, there was uh, some issues to the technical uh, issues. So that uh, I'm extremely sorry for that. Uh, thank you very much for SEDEX for, uh, for inviting us to uh, be the uh, part of this SEDEX conference and uh, we are GSASB very much proud to be the part of this conference. And I am Abdul Muttalib uh, uh, acting as the Managing Director of GSAS International, which is established in 2010 and we are working uh, as a uh, SEDEX member uh, uh, since uh, 2018. Today, as my part is to be the uh, focused on the health, hygiene, and the safety parameters of the industrial industry as an auditor perspective. So, what we are seeing and what are the progress we are seeing. Uh, so, uh, today, uh, slide is coming like this way. And GSS is the uh, area where is we are developing of uh, servicing for the uh, SEDEX uh, uh, affiliated audit company, as well as for the APSCA, for uh, SLCP, HIG, and uh, as well as for the product certification schemes, including some other uh, other other scheme as well. Uh, for today, uh, what we will the focus on the uh, auditing perspectives is mean the why actually audit is required. Uh, the main focus area for the what it is required is to the conformity of the system, uh, uh, factory system as part of the audit criteria, as well as for the evaluation for the ability of the health and safety system to ensure the organization meet the applicable uh, requirement along with the other interested parties requirement, including the SEDEX. Uh, as well, the evaluation of the effectiveness of the health and safety system to ensure the organization to continually meeting the specific objective, especially for the worker health and safety and hygiene. And finally, to identify the area for the potential improvement uh, for the health and safety system. So these, these are the reason uh, 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 the brand uh, as well as all the supplies and are requesting for the audit and for the auditors so what are the approach we are uh, approach we are applied during the audit so there is two approaches main, uh, mainly we focused that is one is the management system approach which is the risk oriented approach and the uh, area of the improvement and uh, uh, for the uh, for this management system approach, basically we are focusing on the, uh, especially for the PDCA cycle, I mean the plan, do, check and act. So once the company is planning is the uh, more effectively and uh, do something uh, to implement or to achieve the goal. And that is the reason as a part of the PDCA, the audit is 
fundamentally required to be the uh, real time see the real time uh, improvement of the facility and then uh, another approach is coming like the operation based approach which is mainly focused up, uh, on the safety element as well as for the legal uh, requirement which uh, legal compliance which is covering of the health and safety issues of the uh, sedex and sedex is really the best uh, good tools where the uh, operational and management system both approaches are work together and uh, based on the corrective and the preventive action uh, factory is ultimately is going to the uh, continual improvement process in regards of the health and safety perspective and during the audit actually what auditor focused area is number one is the is the audit is meaning is a triangulation in triangulation among the site tour in a worker interview as well as the management interview and finally the uh, document and record review so what it is not meaning like that the is the one of situation once the auditor is going uh, identify one health and safety related issue then this three trying uh, three uh, uh, aspect need to be verified to confirm with this type of this uh, conclusion what will be the compliant or non compliant and uh, uh, if we go for the next area then how the auditor is coming to the end of the audit so auditor approach is always be the factual approach not in the fault finding approach it's mean if any single parameter is coming like the fault and immediately auditor is not write down it is the non conformity we look for the fact what are the reason of the problem and how, why this problem is happening and what the improvement area of uh, area uh, we can suggest the facility what kind of the uh, problem is there basically the through the root cause of the problem and auditor perspective is always to sort out the root cause and present to the facility that are the real time problem not to the only for the fault finding uh, if we go for the next slide then we can see in details uh, how uh, how this uh, auditor approach is doing during the health and safety audit so there is a three aspect actually during the audit uh, auditor is always look for that is one for the software uh, software related issues that is the work permit accidental incidental analysis emergency preparedness and if we go for the human uh, human wire uh, problem like the monitoring planning and the leadership and if we go for the hardware related issues then engineering issue maintenance issue and final end is coming like the uh, personal protective equipment if you go for the next slide i'm sorry as the slide control is not belongs to me uh, vishal you can just put another uh, click button so there is uh, another two bar there so for the risk management especially for the risk management what actually auditor is look for that is the final objective is coming like the elimination substitution engineering control administrative control and the pp so these are the uh, sequence is the most effective uh, sequence to uh, control the risk all, all over the facility but unfortunately we got some area where the factory or the facility are always look for the from downside to this downside to upside i mean the, their first focus area is like coming the ppe then administrative control then engineering control and then substitution and the elimination so which is this way is the uh, risk management control is the very less effective control so uh, auditor perspective is always going for the right side uh, arrow which is uh, look for the uh, hierarchy of the risk management is which is the most effective one which is start from the elimination and end uh, for the pp uh, so during the especially for the health and safety audit especially uh, the requirement of the uh, sedex 
So what we always uh, auditor is look for, sometimes the facility is feeling uh, too much bother why the auditor is looking for the periphery of the uh, audited site. As because of there is a potential, sometimes uh, the potential risk is outside of the facility, which is very close to the uh, boundary wall of the facility then auditor is always been noted the this type of the potential risk for the facility and second on is uh, like uh, once the combined facility whenever uh, the auditor is doing the audit then uh, we have to cover up the common area of the risk where is the uh, one risk is associated with the multiple facility then we always look for this multiple uh, facility the common area basically the uh, uh, evacuation area, also the uh, electrical service or any other common service they are using in the multiple, multi uh, multi factories are located in the one side. Uh, as because of if one problem is identified with the uh, outside of the audited factory, then obviously this same problem is transferred to the audited factory as well. So SEDEX is also the focused on this type of the risk control whenever going for the multi-site audit. And what actually we are seeing in the 21st century, I mean, what are the outcome is coming in the 21st century audit, which says uh, the, the, the next slide we will see the comparison, the, say for example, the uh, left on this the, uh, uh, red color, cross on is this is the dining facility and also the right on is the dining facility both type of the factory is, is still exist in the 21st century if we go for the next area then we can uh, see this is the washing facility and another another uh, improvement of the right side uh, picture which is also the washing facility so it is very clear to identify the difference between the uh, 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 different factory. There, uh, that is also the toilet facilities. And uh, if we go for the next slides, and then we can see what are the uh, see the chemical handling area. So uh, at least even uh, there is a lot of chemical there are handling without even you know, wearing any PPE or uh, any hand gloves even. So right side one is like the one of the good on which is coming like the uh, wearing the appropriate PP. And this is the working in the height, especially for the warehousing, whenever we see some of the factory have the racking system and the people see in the red circle, uh, two people are sitting and they are working from this area. And the right side, there is a conveyor type system of the warehousing, also the automated system to recording all the uh, all the incoming and outgoing materials is coming, how it is coming and how it is going. So both uh, both type of the factories still exist in this uh, 21st century. If you see for the, this is both of the factories, the generator area. So the right side one is the generator and left side one is the how beautiful of the factory are still, we are audited in uh, the Southeast Asia even. Uh, this is another another uh, this this type of the task is not too much regular but uh, whenever we are going for the audit then we always uh, advise to auditor to identify this type of the activities which is not regular activities but if it is the too much uh, heighted area and then at least they have to be the proper cover uh, i mean the build system as well as for the safety aspect they ensure and then they can work and if we see the next uh, few uh, few peaks here you can see what are the contribution of the audits in today's industries oh, this is really really outstanding uh, outcome is coming uh, as because of this audit uh, the factory uh, this is not only the only single parameter, but along with this other parameter audit is also the enforcing element to a uh, good setup of the factory. This is the inside facility. They have the very good nursery. It is also located, it, it, this factory is located in Bangladesh and uh, very beautiful uh, 
even uh, in the lunch break, the worker are taking uh, sometimes they're walking inside of this uh, nursery. If we go for the next one, you can some see snapshot. Some sometimes this is one is uh, for this uh, 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 medical facility. This is the ETP. How beautiful it is! And this is for the warehouse. I mean raw materials warehouse. Is really really outstanding outcome. And uh, if we go for the next, uh, and this is the childcare facility. This one and this one is the very beautiful. This is the fair shop for the workers, and the worker can uh, take the take the uh, their daily needs from this shop. Even they can also uh, buy without money. And whenever the payment is coming, I mean the uh, salary are paid, then they can adjust the uh, bill with this uh, uh, shop. And uh, this is also the some uh, outcome. This warehousing and uh, uh, both are the left one is another uh, super shop for, uh, for the workers, and the right one is the warehousing system. And if you go for the next, even this 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 one is the ICU facility inside of the uh, factory medical facility. The, uh, one bed is the ICU bed is there. And uh, another, uh, the, this is the production area and the right side is the production area, how nicely managed this production area. And now I can uh, see the silent success of the factories uh, uh, after the audit. So what we identify the effectively identify the hazard control on the health and safety risk and its opportunity as well as factory is now going to be the continual improvement through the continual performance of health and safety. And last one is like the integration of the uh, occupational health and safety management system into the organization business process. So if this system, this three area is the key success of the auditing uh, in, in the industry's part. And, uh, Thank you very much, and I am uh, again sorry for this uh, interruption. So I am. Uh, if you have any question, then I am going back to the Pritesh uh, for the next one. Thank you very much again. Thank you, Mr. Motleb, for your presentation and sharing the process and approach taken by auditors around um, health and safety. It's uh, it's very valuable for our attendees and members to understand what the what is looked for and the motivations of auditors as well as seeing the examples that you showed highlighting you know the positive impact um, that having an audit conducted can have on the environment uh, and, and as well for workers um, if you have any questions please head to the exhibitor area where you have uh, where you'll find a dedicated stall for gses or in the lounge area where you can grab a table with the gses team that'll be the best place to continue the conversation um, our next panel will short start shortly, so please go to the agenda and join that session to uh, to hear the next panel. But I'd just like to say thank you again, Mr. Abdul, for your time and your presentation today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.